Hey guys, thanks for watching. I thought I'd show you some of the design points of this craft. There's a couple little sneaky things I've done. Um, it is all stock parts, the only mod is Megjeb, and that's really just there for fine control of the ascent and for predicting landing locations. So the actual Dragon Pod is pretty simple. Um, the engines are clipped in, but never mind. Um, second stage is also pretty basic. The only thing about that is extra SAS to keep it facing prograde during re-entry. Um, the Falcon 9 bit is probably bigger than it should be to scale, um, but it needed enough delta V to get it into space and also so it was far enough over that it would come back to land on the next available bit of land. I really wasn't going to go in for um, trying to land on a barge. It's difficult enough to land this thing anyway, never mind trying to put it on a small floating platform. So um, propulsion wise, it's got nine engines, but they're not all the same. Um, in the center, it's got a skipper to give it a better thrust to weight ratio and then it's got four LVT45s and four um, T30s. I did originally have it all as T30s but that wasn't enough thrust and it also wasn't enough control for the landing. Um, so trial and error I've come up with this combination of engines. It still could have a better thrust to weight ratio but it, it works. So, the most sneaky thing about this design is it really needs fins to work with the current aerodynamic model, and the Falcon 9 doesn't have fins. So, um, the, the non-part clipping folk are not going to like this, but I buried a bunch of fins inside the low fuel tank. It really needs that for stability during ascent and for descent it needs these fins which are buried in the top section. Um, that's probably the most sneaky part of the design is those buried fins. Now, as I said, lots of SAS on the second stage because it really wants to flip around and come in um, retrograde whereas it's supposed to come in prograde until until it flips around before landing. Anyway, so that's kind of it for the design points of this one. Um, thanks again for watching, and I'm, I'm sorry I haven't made any videos for a while, and I do appreciate you guys continuing to subscribe and continuing to like what I've made so far. really do appreciate it. I'll put the craft up on Kerbal X so you can download it, and I'll put some more detailed flight instructions there too. And I hope to have some more videos out soon. Thanks for watching, guys.